I am going to be using some sellotape because the colours I'm using today I do not trust myself using unless I have some sort of backup which is sellotape. So the one I'm using today is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I'm also just going to put out, I faked hand last night, completely for what, forgot to wash my hands and they look, um, I haven't got an excuse for it so please just ignore my hands. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be using this little palette today. Warm taupe, which is, bear with me, I'm just going to get a blending brush. This is the 221 Soft Luxe Crease Soeva brush, which I use just all the time. So here is Warm Taupe. Just going to dab that in there. And I also just keep a, a cotton pad next to me as well. So if there's any sort of, if there's any kind of too much on the brush, I'll just go and dab it into the pad. Literally, and we're like all around the eye. And we're also going to take it just at the front here as well because we want it to be, as you can see here, quite blown out. I do also just take the brush very lightly and just go kind of above where we have blended as well. Okay, so next I'm going to go into Burnt Orange, which is this shade just here. And I'm just using, again, a just a smidge of this colour just to warm up this kind of whole crease area. Also, I'm just using kind of windscreen wiper motions and when it gets to the front, I'm just buffing it in circle motions because I've had it before where I've kind of brushed like that and then when you look up close to the eye where it kind of creases here you can see where the shadow was applied and where it hasn't applied so I like to get really in there then I'm going to go in with a MAC 2 and 7 brush and I'm going to take red ochre which is this fabulous shade just there okay, and I'm just placing this where we put our previous colors and just again using windscreen wiper motions and I'm also again just taking this at the front of the eye. But I focus a lot of the blending firstly kind of on this outer third first and then I will go into the front. Okay nice and then just to add a little bit of pink um, I'm going to take Ven Venetian yeah I'm going to take Venetian red which is just here ever so slightly on the same brush and I'm just going to apply this over the top um, so that we add that kind of pink hue to it. Take Real Gar, which is this nice orangey shade, and I'm dabbing this in, and I'm going to apply this on our outer third. And I'm going to take it to maybe about halfway. Okay, and then for the uh, kind of the inner corner, I'm going to take a Premier Primavera, or whatever that's called there. We're going to take this shade, which is a nice champagne -y gold shade. Now, honestly, I really wouldn't worry too much about this stage because you can go for this kind of ombre look. However, kind of when I used the glitter earlier, I meant to put it here so that you could see this whole base. But um, unfortunately, the glitter smudged everywhere. So what did I do? I covered my whole eye in glitter. I mean, that's just life in general. If something goes wrong, cover it in glitter. If you're broke, cover yourself in glitter. Okay, so when they are somewhat um, blended, what shade did I use? Oh, okay, yeah, and then I'm just gonna go back into Venetian Red again, and I'm just gonna use this on the outer third, because I feel like this needs a bit more pink, TBH. So God, though, these shadows blend. Like, I do not need to even blend that much because they blend so perfectly. I'm going to move on to the glitter. Now the two that I am using um, are one from Collection which is the Glam Crystals and this is in the shade Dancing Queen and the next one is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade of Midnight Cowboy. You do want to be so careful with this glitter though because it literally will transfer and I'm not kidding you, everywhere. Okay, and then just to kind of carve everything out, um, I'm going to take this, but I'm going to map it and kind of drag it, I suppose. Um, oh no, I did my jowl liner first. Hang on, I, I'll be back. I'm gonna go and do my jowl liner because it's very difficult to do off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so now I am back and my eyeliner is looking uneven as fuck. We are going to go back into what we were doing previously just with the 
glitter and literally just applying it all over. And then for when we need this look kind of revamping a little bit, I'm going to take Midnight Cowboy and I'm going to place this over the top of that previous liner and using that as kind of an inner highlight, I suppose. Go on to my lower lash line. So for this, I I'm going to take just a small shader brush and I'm going in with Burnt Orange and um, Real Gar, which are the two orangey shades from this palette. I'm just popping that under our lower lash line. Okay, and then over the top, um, I'm just going to take a bit of red ochre, which is the ready shade. I'm just going to pop a bit of this on the other side as well. Just get it so it meets there. Nice, and then using my... Oh god, that shadow just fell on my carpet. Taking my Zoeva blending brush, I am just going to lightly dust this out so that it does have some sort of gradient effect to it. And then just on a very tiny pencil brush, again this one is from Nima Cosmetics. I'm going in with Cypress Umber, I think it's called. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Colossal Go Extreme Mascara, which really needs replacing. I'm going to pop my eyelashes on and do my liner and I'll be back. Okay so now our eyes are done I'm going to move on to the face and I'm going to take the Rimmel Wake Me Up um, concealer. Just be careful not to kind of wipe out anything you've previously done on your lower lash line. I'm taking this down the nose here. Oh my god right here I have a huge spot but it's like under the skin and I am in so much pain. I was like blending my foundation earlier and I was like, ow, 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 ow. It was so painful. I could just use concealer for the sake of it as well. Like there's no need for me to use so much concealer. The powder, I'm gonna take the Nude Magic BB powder from L'Oreal. This one is in need of replacement. And I'm just gonna take this on the little sponge that it comes with. Ow, 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 ow. Um, I reordered some like my favourite foundation which is the um, NARS All Day Luminous Foundation um, so that should be here tomorrow if not Monday um, but I also used, I also ordered the NARS I think it's full coverage, it's like the little concealer they have out in the jar that has just been or I say just been released, I probably just found it and it's been out for probably years um, so yeah I'm quite excited to try that because I've heard good reviews on it but I also want to ask you guys if you have used the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation let me know your thoughts because apparently it was like one of the top like returned beauty products um, to Sephora or something like that and I'm like it's my favourite foundation in the whole world. Okay and then I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I'm using a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills products today and that is not intentionally at all. Um, so I'm taking this on a Sigma F40 brush and I'm just going into Havana and bouncing that in there. I'm just going to contour slightly. Also, a trick I found with contouring is, you know where the hollows of your cheeks kind of sit there? Well, go above it so that um, you're actually hitting the cheekbone because it's going to lift the face. This is the Chanel Universal Bronzer, um, and I'm just taking this on a flat kabuki brush, but this is honestly my favourite bronzing product. Um, and I'm also just going to bounce this slightly into my forehead. Now, I don't usually set this product because it tends to kind of just sit really well in itself, so... Um, I kind of leave it to do its thing. Okay, now do I use blush today? Because I never, 
ever use blush so I'm gonna treat myself and I'm gonna wear blush today what do we want to use I think I'm going to use Max Malba we're gonna use Max Malba um, and I'm just gonna take this I'm just gonna wipe this brush off slightly and I'm just gonna take that on the same brush um, was the wrong brush to use because it's made my cheeks look really rosy but the reason why I wanted to use it was because it was going to blend with my bronzer did it shit so I'm just using my foundation brush just to uh, kind of desaturate the red spots I have on my face now very excited about this next step because it's highlighting Re recently purchased yeah I went there. Um, this is the Anastasia Glow Kit um, in the shade of Sun Dipped. This palette is probably too dark for me in terms of its colours. However, um, these two lighter shades I will probably mix with these two darker shades just to kind of get a, a different little mix, mix and match hue. So I'm going to take Moon's yeah, we're going to take Moonstone, which is this shape. I'm going to take this on a Real Techniques fan brush. And we're going to go and glow. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, God, what have I done? I've put way, way too much on. Trust me, this is the thing with adding so much highlight, is it looks really good on camera and then as soon as you see them in person you're just like what is on your face what are those my god they are absolutely stunning but they are way too metallic for what i'm used to so oh, i'm gonna have to blend take a bit of moonstone again just on the tip of my nose like this for lips I'm feeling nude. Okay, so what I'm going to use is um, a liquid lipstick from um, New Look. And this is their old one because I do believe they have repackaged it since. But this is in the shade of Mink. And I'm so sorry. I don't know if you can even still get this colour. So instead of overlining my lips to make them look bigger, I'm just going to go and dab a little bit of concealer in the middle so that um, they kind of look bigger from within. Does that make any sense? Okay, so that is the finished look today, you guys. Um, I love it. It is super glam and super dramatic, but I absolutely love looks like these. And I think the colours especially make my eyes look really, really blue, which is insane. Also, I'm wearing my hair up. That never, like, ever happens. And this is my own hair as well. It's grown so thick is the finished look today you guys i hope you enjoyed it it's something a little bit different a little bit glittery and just fun and i think you can wear this absolutely anywhere so i had so much fun recreating it and this highlight i'm living for i'm usually oh look at my little elf ears um i'm usually someone that just does uh, like does not like real popping highlight but i love something that's like i love something that's really subtle but this may have just converted me so yeah thank you so much for watching this video today you guys let me know what you want to see next and i'll be sure to do it and i shall see you in my next video bye oh, fuck i can't find the ah got it Okay, so for eyeshadows today, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Rinnies. I cannot see, like, this piece of sellotape is sticking in my eye. Um, nope, leave the eye alone. Leave it alone. Hope you guys enjoyed this look today. It's something a bit different. Ah! Oh. I don't want the... Uh. I just ate a hair from somewhere and I don't really know where.